SoapCentral.com presents the 49th Annual Daytime Emmy Awards Red Carpet. From the Pasadena Civic Center in Pasadena, California, it's your host, Dan Kroll. I want to, uh, one of the things that I like to do when I do the red carpet is give people a chance to catch up, give people a chance to, to speak to you know the folks who've made them have long careers, people who followed them. And I normally get to do it only with the soap folks, but I'd like to give it a chance to for you because I don't know if people you know ever ask you, would you like to speak to the fans? Would you like to speak to the people out there? I am so blessed to get to do what I do. Um, I've been in television over 40 years. I started when I was 18. Oh my God, it's a lot more than that. I've been at Inside Edition for 27 years. We're not going to do the math. Um, it still adds up to 29. It's, yeah, it's all 29, right. But the reality is I am so lucky to get to do what I do. I get to, I was a little girl in fourth grade who interrupted Mrs. Eddings constantly by raising my hand and saying, how come, how come? And Mrs. Eddings sent me to the library to do reports to find out how come, which she didn't know and I didn't know until later. She gave me the tools for my career. My job involves asking how come. How come the Supreme Court ruled as it did today on the Roe v. Wade and the Mississippi case? Uh, how come there's another wave of COVID in the offing? How come monkeypox has suddenly become a thing? There's a lot of stuff to ask how come about. I get to ask how come and then do it, do the story, not just so the whole class knows, but so the whole country knows. How awesome is that? I, as someone who was always a question asker, yeah. I relate right? to that a lot. We found the right career. I think the, the, the thing for me has been seen where now it seems as though a, a whole generation of, of kids are told, don't ask questions or just Google it, and then they Google it and then they're getting misinformation. So what do we do in 2022 to make sure that um, we let kids know that they should be asking questions and then to make sure that they're getting the right answers. Well, when my kids were little, um, Encarta was first there and then later the internet and all of that, and I wouldn't let them use it. If you need to look up a word, I got one of those big giant dictionaries, ones that they had in the school library, to look it up. Because on the way to Wallaby, you're gonna go past a lot of other interesting stuff and you're gonna learn on the way to finding out the answer to whatever it was you were asking about. So I think printed material is really great because it's a lot harder to have fake news in there. Thank you so much for dropping by, I appreciate it. Nice to see you, enjoy tonight, thank you.